Well, this place is red. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Sandwiched between Mazeroski Way and the Roberto Clemente Bridge, welcome to PNC Park. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the New York Mets going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. So two down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Went down on Brandon. strikes his first time through. The M.O. for him is contact. A guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom. Ah, that ends the inning. So we take a break. So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mets four and the Pirates nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the power speed combo. Eric Stevens. So it's game one of the LCS, and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series. Well, this team's got its sights set on the World Series. If they're going to get there, it's going to be because of his performance. And he'll one. That one pushed foul. High fly ball out to center field. Tucker on the move. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. It's a little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapse and distance. Here's Kyle Tucker. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. In the air out to center. Stevens drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And a quick out number one. Up next to the net. The first baseman. So first and second with two outs at the plate for Pittsburgh. Eric Stevens. He's over one. Well, he consistently hits the ball hard. His exit velocity and barrel rate near the tops right, in the let's league. Go, let's go. Come on. And that should be extra bases. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 1 as he reached on an error his first time around. Ball to strike. In the air to left down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Ground ball right side. That's a base hit as a run scores. Tucker fires it to the plate. And he's in there as two runs score in the play. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bad after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of. Ready to go, go for the last half of the Hyman. inning. And now, the Eric Stevens. Eric Stevens. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. Mauricio under it. And there's one down. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out no there. Back. They're going to have to push back at some point Second and make ready. him work a little. Now Ronnie back. Mauricio now. One Ronnie for two. Mauricio. 
the 1 1. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Stevens makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing here this half. 7 8 9 due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Mets 5 and the Pirates 3. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Eric Stevens. The center fielder, Eric Stevens. Anderson back to work. That one drilled left field. Gonzalez going back for it. Back some more. And he's in to third base with a leadoff triple. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Jorge Polanco, the next pirate to hit. One for three. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Anderson ready to work. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the right. McNeil. The throw to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now it's now the man. DH, Ty France. Oh. He's already homered here in this one. And the 2 This to center field. Stevens under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets 11 and the Pirates 7. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Eric, Eric Stevens. And no one better, clutch up. Could be extra bases. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So up next, Jorge Polanco. Right-hander kicks, deals. Two balls, one strike. That's in for a strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Aaron Pulse, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Second and third, two down. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Runner from second crosses the play, and it's now a two-run game. And he's got a two-run triple. 
Nicely done. Brings home two. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Well, summoned from the bullpen, had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. Well, our scorecards are a mess after this one as we look at the final line. Yeah, we're going to have to break out that old graphing calculator of yours for this one, Boog. We saw a ton of offense. I don't think that's how a graphing calculator works, Siggy. Close one here today and your final 11-10. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.